Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I just hit myself as I was. Anyways, um, we are trying to see the show. Um, obviously tonight we are here to talk about the football game that went down tonight. Um, between Tampa Bay and Atlanta. All right. Well, to be honest, a lot of people, you know, went into this game wanting um for Atlanta to lose. Um, you know, a lot of people. I think most of the league, especially on the NFC, you know. Um, a lot of people went in this, and, and I just, want, I, I was, I, I thought, I, I thought Atlanta was just going to run through, um, you know, they were just going to win this, you know, very easily. But Tampa Bay showed up. I thought they showed up. I thought they made some mistakes that, like, were wow, like some really stupid flags, fumbling the ball once you were about to score. But I thought they did all right, you know. I think this team, you know, they've, they were supposed to, you know, I had them going past winning 10, 11 games this season, you know, all the way back in the summer. And the thought Jameis Winston, you know, was going to get in the conversation of a top 10 quarterback in the league. I made, I'm, uh, I made the list a, f a few weeks ago. Uh, I believe I've named seven, um, seven players, um, 25 or younger, um, who, are, who, who are the best, you know. And I believe I had a Wentz first, and then last I had a um, Win um, Winston. You know, twenty quarterbacks that are, quarterbacks that are twenty five or younger. And I, I had, I'm sorry, but I Jameis Winston to me has really fallen off. He even talked about it, how, hey, hey, Jameis, are you feel like you're getting better? And he's in year three, he's like, no, I, I, I do not feel like I'm getting better. You know, he even knows it. But you know, thought they showed up. You know, made some stupid mistakes. Fumble the ball right when they were able to score again. That could have been the game right there. You know. Falcons, they're looking all right. They're not looking as amazing as last year, but they're looking all right, you know. Um, free, um, Devontae Freeman, hell of a job running the football tonight. Physical runner, amazing. I loved it. Um, Matt Ryan was all right. Whatever, you know, Matt Ryan, whatever. Julio Jones, you know. I thought the Falcons, you know, this year they've been a very, you know, they're not playing like last year. They're winning, but they're not like last year. Just something that, they're not like winning by a lot. Like last year they were like winning 30-0, you know, 35-0, 35-7, you know. This year is more like a, you know, they're, they're in much um, tighter games, you know. And um, they does not look like a championship team at all. It looks like a playoff team and not like a championship team. But who knows, once you get in the playoffs, you never know, you know, so, you know, who, who, who knows, but yeah, they have a chance, but they don't look amazing, they really don't, like as far as winning it all, they look like they have a chance to get in the playoffs and maybe win a game or two, but they do not look like, oh wow, and last year, remember, I was laughing at people, everybody was telling me, yeah, they're going all the way, they're going all the way, they're winning it all, and I was like, mother chicken on the waffle string, I, are you crazy, last year I was not impressed, because I talked about it, how last year their defense was terrible. And that was, in the whole time in the playoffs, they were shutting my mouth. I was like this. You know, I didn't know where to show my watch. I was looking like a stupid. You know, I'm supposed to be the star. And I looked like a stupid, and I looked like a stupid man because I thought they, they sucked, you know, once again in the playoffs. And they were winning. They get to the Super Bowl. And what happens? What I said all along happens. Their defense will fall apart, give up a 25-point lead, lose the Super Bowl. So at the end, I ended up being right. They went a lot further than I expected them, but I ended up being right. This year, I, they're they're not even looking amazing on on neither side of the football. So I think they can still make the playoffs, but yeah, they forget about it. They're not gonna win it all. And you know, it's alright because teams that usually lose the Super Bowl next year struggle. This team has a chance to at least get a playoffs, which that's saying something because most of teams who lose the Super Bowl don't do, do that do do that. Don't 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 do that. I'm making the don't do that. I'm making the next year. All right, but you know at the you know Tampa Bay, like I said, you know had a very bad season. You know needs to get a new coach. I made a video about that a few weeks ago. They have got to make a new coach. I'm sorry. And there at the end, you know you knew that was gonna happen. If you watched that um, Thursday night game they had a, a few months ago versus New England, you know their, their kicker sucks. He really sucks. So once I thought it was going to come down to a field goal for tying it to go to extra time, I knew that I remember I remember the kicker missing like what was it three field goals, five field goals 
versus the Patriots on a Thursday night football game. What happened? He missed that game over. Not a surprise. Um, I'm going to say something here. I believe they won five games, the Tampa Bay. And James Winston has won two of them. And um, then he got hurt his shoulder and he was out for a few weeks. Ryan Fitzpatrick has won the other three. That's a problem right there for this franchise. When your first round pick, when you only have five wins... And the nerd from Stan and the nerd from Harvard Law School has three of the five in your first round pick. Your franchise start player only has two. That is a problem right there. That is the problem right there. You cannot. I, I'm not sure. I might be wrong, but I believe that's what I saw. Ryan Fitzpatrick, the nerd from Harvard, Harvard has three wins. Jameis Winston, the first round pick out of Florida State, um, Heisman winner, national championship winner, only has two. Are you, oh, I, that's what, that's a problem right there. Forget about having a bad year, forget about only winning five games. The nerd from Stanford, I mean the nerd from Hartford, Ryan Fitzpatrick, has three wins. The Heisman winner, the national championship winner, the first round pick has only two. That's a problem right there. That is a problem. That's, that is sad. That is really sad. You, I hopefully I'm getting this that wrong. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe somebody let me know. But I do believe that that is what I'm getting. That, that that is what the information that I have studied, um, that I have seen, is showing me. I have not looked at it 100 percent. But for what I looked at a little bit, I believe that is correct. And that is terrible. That you are losing to a nerd, a nerd, a nerd. Ryan Fitzpatrick, the nerd, is beating Jameis Winston, the Heisman winner. A first round national championship winner, first round pick, mother, ch oh first overall pick back in two thousand and what was it, fifteen, whatever it was. Are you kidding me right now? You've got to be kidding me. That is some sad stuff right there, Jameis Winston. You're losing to a nerd from Harvard Law School. That is terrible, Jameis Winston. You need to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself what the hell's going on because that is terrible. And then you look at the coaching staff. First of all, no, you look you, you, and you look at the team. You see talent all over the place. You see um, one of the best tight ends coming out coming out of this Seattle college, O.J. Howard. You see. A pretty good, I believe, what was it, a first round pick as well a few years ago, Mike Evans. You see one of the best wide receivers, one of the big player wide receivers, one of the fastest wide receivers in the league right now, Deshaun Jackson. And you can only win five games. This is on two people. Jamie, it, it, it's actually on the coaching staff more because it's they, James Winston, same thing. They have not done a good job developing James Winston. They have not. They have not. It's terrible. It really is. I think the, I think this franchise needs a new coach. And they need... And Derek Cutter, you're supposed to be... a. You were supposed, you know, they fired Lovey Smith because they didn't like his personality. They didn't think he had what it takes to teach this young team to teach Seamus Winston. And then, so you bring in a little bit the more, the more talker, Dirk Cutter. What are you doing, Dirk Cutter? Nothing. Seamus Winston right now, in my list, on the friendly fat ass list of quarterbacks, 25 or younger, is last. He is last. I made my list a few weeks ago. I think I even said it here. Of 25 quarterbacks who are younger. Now, who knows? That, this was a while ago. Maybe now some of these guys are older than 25. I don't know. But you know, you know, the, you know, from 
You know, from from that from that draft of Jameis Winston from Mariota and Winston to now, okay? From that draft of Mariota and Winston to now, uh, and Winston to now, he's the last one. He really is, and that's on the coaching staff as well. That's on Daryl Cutter and the rest of that coaching staff for not being able to make this guy a better quarterback, or not being able to make him a better player, a better leader. This team, once again, looks like they're going to have to once again get a new coach. Jameis wants to spend the lead for five years, and he could may, and he may be on his th coach number three. That's a problem right there. But I think that's why you have to make, and you may have to have Jameis Winston be a part of the process of a new coach. Because you failed with Derek Cutter. You're, well, you're failing with Derek Cutter. You failed with Lovey Smith. And the man's only in year three. And you're already feeling like this. So if I'm Tampa Bay, I fired Derek Cutter. And I made Jameis Winston part of the process of looking for a new coach. I make him sit there and talk to the new coach. I make, you know, somebody that he likes. You know, almost like not 100% not making his decision, but have him have, have some, you know, say in it. Because this is terrible. The guy has not even been in the league for five years, and you're possibly already looking at the, the coach number three for this man in this team. So I think at this point, you gotta, you're the owner, you're the front, you, you know, the management, you gotta say, hey, this is not good at all. This is a first round pick, first overall first round pick. Uh, Heisman winner, national championship winner. We have got to do better. Let's have, let's sit with Jameis Winston. Let's maybe ask him who, who he would like. You know, let's make a few phone calls. Let's give him a list of who we'd like to bring in. And let's, let's see what he thinks about them. Because <sighs> there's so much talent in this team. And it's sad that in less than five years, they may be looking for coach number three already. It's very sad. It is very sad. Um, yeah, yeah, if I was the management, I fired Derek Cutter, and I sit down Jameis Winston, and I have him be part of this new process to looking for a new man. Because there's talent all over this field. And it's a shame they have only won five games. And when Jameis Winston's on the field, they have only won two games. Are you kidding me right now? You, that, that, that is sad. That really is sad. Anyway, Southies are still in it, along with, the, you know, every, uh, everybody else, you know, NBA, well, except, you know, who? NBA FC um, South. We'll see what happens. Um, what else can I say? I want to say thank you, everybody, for joining the Shane Show tonight. It's been an honor. Um, sorry. Yeah, one more thing. Um, no, 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 hold on. Sorry for um, what happened with last night's show. I had a lot of problems. The computer, the internet was, the, 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 my laptop was really slow. Literally, I, 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 opted, I started the process of getting the show ready for you guys at 3 in the morning. Literally, you know, from 3 in the morning to 5 in the morning, there was a fucking program. You know, I don't know what the hell was downloading. Took literally five, two hours. And then... And then, like, at 7, I try to get it done, but I, I don't know what happened. I think some other show uploaded, and then at tw around lunchtime at 12, I realized that it had happened, so I deleted that video. What the fuck is happening? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my second tip, never mind. Anyways, um, and then by, we, we didn't get the video up until 1. That's my fault. And w at 1 p.m. That is my fault. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, 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 I'm getting some... Excuse me. Um, um, yes, but that's my fault, okay? I should have done better. I need to learn my laptop more, and I need to, um, I need to understand that if I'm going to download a, a new thing, whatever I downloaded, if it's going to take two hours, the, the laptop needs to be turned on a lot earlier so the video can be up, you know? But when you guys start getting up, you know, at five, seven, you guys start getting ready for school and work. You guys can watch the video. I know a lot of you watch the video, the show once on your way to work. You know, you get ready for the day, and maybe a lot of you guys had a bad morning, had a had a, had a, had a bad, you know, not so amazing day because you didn't get to see the friendly fat ass early in the morning. 
So I want to apologize to everybody on behalf of myself because I, I did not, Ronald, I think Ronald's very angry because I think he usually put a comment right away in the morning and all day, he's in silence. I think Ronald, I think I ruined your, your day. I apologize to you, man. This is on me, this is on me. Um, so I apologize and I need to be, be a little bit more in, 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 intelligent on some fucking um, Albert Einstein type shit. And I need to understand that if I'm gonna download something and it could possibly take that long, I need to turn on the computer earlier. Anyways, I wanna say thank you for understanding. I apologize. The video that was supposed to be up last night, at latest by the time you guys start getting up in the morning to look at the video. So sometimes I, I think you guys feel better, you know? Especially on a Monday, you know? <laughs> I don't wanna go to work, I don't wanna go to work. Let me shut up. Anyways, I apologize. Um, and I make you happy, that's what I mean. Maybe put a smile on your face. On, on, a, on an ugly Monday. Anyways, uh, put the questions in. I need to sh learn how to shut up. Put the questions in. Um, we only have one, so make sure you put the questions in. And yes, I am gonna try to get a timer soon because this is ridiculous. This week we're making 27 videos on Friday, last night. It is ridiculous. It needs to slow down a little bit. I know some of you got the long videos, but at the same time, it is sad. I need to shut my mouth and know my role. Anyways, I wanna thank everybody and I will see you later. Oh my lord, can you like just shut up? Like seriously, you have diarrhea and me you have Mexican style diarrhea in the ass and you have fucking, um, w you have fucking, anyways, later. What the fuck is happening? I'm such an idiot.